In the story of space exploration, few missions stand out like Voyager 1. This extraordinary spacecraft has become a lasting symbol of human curiosity and our never-ending desire to uncover the unknown. Launched in 1977, during a time when venturing beyond the inner solar system was still a bold idea, Voyager 1 began a mission that would eventually exceed even the most ambitious expectations. Originally designed to study the giant planets Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 was tasked with uncovering the mysteries hidden within these colossal worlds. These gas giants, with their turbulent atmospheres and intricate ring systems, held secrets that scientists had long hoped to uncover. Through stunning images and detailed data, the spacecraft transformed our understanding of these distant planets, revealing complex magnetic fields, swirling storms, and previously unseen moons. Yet the mission didn't end there. Voyager 1's journey evolved into something far greater. What started as a planetary exploration mission became a voyage to the edge of our solar system, and eventually, beyond. Voyager 1 would go on to become the first spacecraft built by humans to enter interstellar space, a vast, mysterious realm outside the influence of our sun. As it traveled through this unknown frontier, Voyager 1 continued to break scientific ground. It helped identify the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the solar wind gives way to the interstellar medium. The spacecraft recorded changes in cosmic radiation, temperature, and particle density, offering the first real glimpse into the environment between the stars. This mission is a testament to what human creativity and perseverance can achieve. Voyager 1 still sends back signals, more than 45 years after launch, continuing to expand our understanding of the universe. The Grand Tour, a celestial opportunity Voyager 1's launch was no accident of timing. Scientists took advantage of a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. This special configuration allowed the spacecraft to use the gravity of each planet it visited to slingshot toward the next, a maneuver known as a gravity assist. This technique made it possible to explore multiple gas giants with minimal fuel, transforming a single mission into an ambitious tour of the outer planets. Encounter with Jupiter, 1979, in 1979, Voyager 1 reached Jupiter, the largest and most massive planet in our solar system. There, it captured breathtaking images of the planet's thick, swirling clouds and the iconic Great Red Spot, a massive storm system larger than Earth. For the first time, scientists saw Jupiter's faint ring system, previously unknown to us. These rings, made of fine dust and particles, added new depth to our understanding of the giant planet. Encounter with Saturn, 1980, Voyager 1 continued to Saturn in 1980, where it documented the planet's dazzling ring system in extraordinary detail. Composed of countless icy particles, the rings formed complex patterns that captivated both scientists and the public. Voyager 1 also discovered new moons orbiting Saturn, each with distinct features, some icy, some rocky, and all adding richness to our understanding of Saturn's domain. Into the unknown, the interstellar mission having completed its primary mission, Voyager 1 was still functional. Rather than shut it down, NASA gave it a new task, to continue into deep space. This extension, known as the Voyager Interstellar Mission, set its sights beyond the heliosphere, the bubble of solar particles and magnetic fields surrounding our sun. For many years, Voyager 1 ventured through the darkness, collecting data from regions of space never before visited. Then, in 2012, it achieved a historic milestone. It crossed the heliopause, officially entering interstellar space. This moment was a breakthrough. The data returned from Voyager 1's instruments revealed a clear and remarkable transformation. As the spacecraft ventured further from our sun, the surrounding environment began to change. The temperature and density of the particles around it shifted, signaling that it had crossed an invisible line the boundary between our solar system and the vast, galactic ocean beyond. This region, known as the heliopause, marks the outer limit of the sun's influence, where the steady stream of solar wind slows down and collides with the much colder, denser material of interstellar space. For decades, scientists had only theorized about this turbulent frontier. It was believed to be a chaotic zone, a cosmic battleground, where the forces of our solar system meet those of the galaxy. 
and Voyager 1 confirmed it. The data painted a picture of shockwaves, magnetic turbulence, and abrupt changes in pressure, similar to what happens when a jet breaks the sound barrier in Earth's skies. But here, it was happening in the vacuum between stars, in the quiet dark beyond the reach of sunlight. A whisper from the stars, the plasma hum Voyager 1 didn't stop its observations after crossing the heliopause. In fact, what it found next stunned even the most seasoned scientists. In 2021, well into its mission in interstellar space, the spacecraft detected an eerie, continuous signal, a faint, ghostly hum coming from all directions. This sound wasn't audible like a radio station or music. It was a vibration, a subtle signal embedded in plasma, the ionized gas that fills the space between stars. These were plasma waves, oscillations caused by interactions between charged particles. Although theories had long predicted their existence, no spacecraft had ever recorded them directly from interstellar space. The discovery of this plasma hum was profound. It was like hearing the soft background noise of the universe itself, a steady rhythm in the void, untouched by the sun's influence. It allowed researchers to measure the density of interstellar matter in a way that had never been possible before. Every variation in the hum told a story, about the structure of the galaxy, about ancient supernovae that had scattered material across space, and about the invisible forces that shaped the Milky Way. This quiet signal, thousands of times fainter than anything inside the heliosphere, wasn't just noise. It was a message from the cosmos, carried on invisible waves across unimaginable distances. A legacy that endures today. Voyager 1 drifts farther from Earth than any object humanity has ever built, over 24 billion kilometers and counting. It travels through a place where no sunlight reaches, guided only by inertia and the memory of its launch decades ago. Though its power is dwindling and its instruments slowly shutting down, it continues to send back precious fragments of data, echoes from the frontier. But Voyager 1 is more than just a machine. It is a messenger, carrying with it one of humanity's most ambitious artifacts, the Golden Record. This carefully crafted disc contains images, music, sounds of nature, greetings in multiple languages, and a map of Earth's location in the galaxy. It was created not for us, but for anyone, or anything, that might one day find it. If Voyager 1 is ever discovered by another civilization, it will be a whisper from a distant world, a record of a species that once looked up at the stars and dared to reach them. It tells the story of Earth, our hopes, our music, our languages, and our place in the universe. In that sense, Voyager 1 is not only a scientific mission but a time capsule of humanity, sailing silently between the stars. Its journey reminds us of the power of curiosity, the beauty of exploration, and the extraordinary things we can achieve when we work together to push the boundaries of the known. Even as its signal grows fainter, Voyager 1 continues to inspire. It is the voice of a distant world, calling out across the darkness, reminding us that the cosmos is not empty, but full of wonder, mystery, and infinite possibility.